Scott Allen here and welcome to the Atticus Review. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a brief overview of how to use Atticus, what the benefits are, and why you should be using it for all of your formatting needs. So first of all, what we're going to do is if you've purchased the Atticus software, you can download that and you're going to start off with a couple of options here. So first of all, two things that you can do. You can upload a current document. This can be a Word document or a document that you downloaded from Google Docs. Whatever you have, you can upload it here. I have several documents here that I've uploaded for testing. We'll take a look at those in a second. Or what you can do is you can actually create a book right in Atticus and you can do the writing in Atticus as well. So just do an example here. Your project, you can just call it whatever your project is. Go get them Atticus, and they've just set up your book. So, the great thing about this is that what Atticus has done is they've taken everything that uh, Vellum has done. Vellum is the other formatting software, and they've taken uh, the Scrivener software as well. They combine the two. Now, this is not at the same level as Scrivener yet, but uh, gradually, Dave Chesson and his team are making a lot of headway in this software and it's just getting better and better. So having said that, what you can do here is you can set up your your book just uh, with the chapter titles. You can go down here, you can add chapters to it as well. So if you wanted to start the writing, you can just add in a subtitle. You can even add in an image for the chapter and you can begin writing right here. And the great thing about it is that it saves everything to the cloud, so you're not going to come back later and find that your book is missing, which is a great function to have. Okay, next, what you can do is, yes, you can add chapters, as many as you need, and it also includes the front matter. So you can put in a title page right here. Atticus has already put in title, subtitle, you can your author is there. And if you have a publisher's name, you can put it there and so on. The copyright page, that's very short and sweet. They already have that embedded into the software, but if you have a customized copyright page that you want to use, you, that is also, um, you can also just copy and paste it in here. Next, table of contents. Um, it should update this automatically. So there's nothing you need to do there per se and the last thing is the back matter. The back matter here is just, uh, you know, you could add um, an about author page or if you have something like uh, other books available, you can include that as part of the back matter too. Okay, and then you can always edit your book details. You can actually upload the image of your, your book cover. So you can put your book cover there and all the details for your book are in here. Soon we're going to get to exporting this as well. So once you have your book set up, you're able to export it as EPUB, PDF, or just as a Word doc. Okay, so just going to go back to the home screen. So that's basically just setting the book up if you want to use it for writing. Now, I've already created something here. We're going to use this as an example, a book that I wrote in a Word document. I just uploaded it into Atticus. And as you can see here, what Atticus has done is they've already outlined all the chapters just as I had them in the Word document. So really, there's not a lot that I have to do here except for making some decisions around uh, the formatting. Just a couple things I want to point out here though. Um, it actually gives you the word count for the chapter over here. You can do it for the entire book, for the chapter, or for the book section. And this is what I like. You can go right here. There's the word count for the book. This particular chapter is this. And I don't have this broken up into sections. So, Okay, and so what we're going to do here is go to... Oh, I'm just going to go to More Tools. This is a very neat little tool as well. 
When you're writing, you might want to have book goals. So for example, I'm just going to delete this goal. Say you're writing a new book and your new book is going to be 30,000 words. You want to have it done by, let's say the end of April, an ambitious writing goal, end of April. You're going to do this, uh, let's see, five days a week. And we'll save that. So to get your book written, you would have to write 3,681 words per day to stay on track. So this is really great for yeah, tracking your word counts. Um, it's very specific on what the goal is per day. And you can also create a writing habit as well. So if you're going to do 1,000 words a day, five days a week you can just log that in as well and when you do the writing here it's tracking um, everything in here how many words you've written today how close you are to your goal uh, your current streak for how many days you've been writing your longest streak so if you are following the Seinfeld uh, method for the calendar streaks then maybe you could use a calendar and just mark an X on the uh, calendar day for every day that you are writing but Atticus already does that here as well so Great little tool there that they've added. Okay, we're gonna jump over to the formatting, which is really why we're here. So, you have your book all ready to go. You've either uploaded it into Atticus or you've written the book in Atticus. So, what you do here, first of all, is you can select a theme from one of the 17, 18 themes that they have in here. I think there's, a, there's about 20 anyway, and they're adding more too. So let's just say I'm going to go with this one right here. And there we go. The material is, for the chapter is already in there. You can jump through and see what various themes look like depending on the type of book that you're writing. If you're doing sci-fi fiction, this might be a better option for that. It looks kind of sci-fi-ish. Okay, I'm just going to go with something here. There we go. So we have our theme. And you can see the other ones there. Next, chapter heading settings. So again, uh, you can just uh, select if you want the chapters to be numbered, leave it there. And also how you want them to look as they're numbered. So you'll notice in various books, they have the chapter numbers are laid out differently. Sometimes it's just a number. I think this is one of the more common uh, formats that we see in a lot of books. And you have the the chapter title right there. You can also do this. Now a lot of chapter titles are usually centered or to the left. I generally like to center it myself, but you may want to put it to the left. I don't see a lot to the right, but it's usually left or center. So, but again, that's an option. Paragraph settings. Yes, you can do drop caps or lead in small caps. So there we go, something like that. This tends to be one of the more popular versions that I see, but yeah, those are great options right there. I'm actually gonna go with just that one there. And when to use the first sentence formatting, okay, beginning of the chapter. So you just wanna have this at the beginning of the chapter, so you can just leave it there if you want to. And ornamental breaks. So these are probably more prone to fiction, but you can also use them in nonfiction books, although I don't see them as often. And you can also upload your own images, though. If you don't like any of these, you can upload your own images, create your custom image, uh, create an image with BookBrush, which is another software, but it's integrated with Atticus. Okay, and this is just the width of how, uh, what the, when you use one of these here, you can space it so that the, um, let's just put one of these in here, actually. Use that one there. You can just space it out so that the uh, you have some spacing in between the paragraphs, and you can choose what the what the width is for that. Okay, the next thing: image settings, color images. If you have any color images there, ebook settings. Okay, we can just uh, you can start the page count from. It's up to you, but you can do it from the table of contents. And the print settings. This is super important. This is uh, the font. 
So generally speaking, I think some of the more popular fonts are embedded here. The Garamond font is there, Open Sans. Uh, let's see, you tend to use this one a lot, but yeah, you can just um, you can plug in some of the font and see how that looks. Okay, and now getting down to the trim size. How big is your book going to be? Um, again, these are the most popular book sizes here. Uh, five by eight, five and a half by eight and a half, six by nine, if your book is more of a larger book, you've got eight by 11, okay. And as you change these trim sizes, your, your book's page count will also change. All right, I'm just gonna go with the five by eight. International sizes, that's okay. You don't have to do anything with those. And then, last thing, just go into advanced settings for a second. And you can set your font size. So, maybe you wanna go with a 12 point or 11 point. And the line spacing, I think that's a good line spacing, but that's something you might want to adjust. Okay, and that's it. And now we are ready to format the book. Oh, one last thing. If you go up here, you can actually see how the book's going to look on various devices. So for example, if you just want to check it on the Kindle Paperwhite, there it is right there. It also has it for yeah, the iPhone, iPad. This is only this is one of the only software uh, formatting software that I've come across that actually has this feature. So this is interesting. All right, and then again, you can change the um, change the font right up here. Again, Georgia. Some of the more popular fonts are embedded in here. Okay, and next we are going to go down and last thing here is we're going to. Export as a PDF or export as an EPUB. So the PDF, again, that is for uh, your paperback or hardcover, and the EPUB is for your Kindle version. So I'm just going to export the PDF. All right, and once it's done, you can just download it to your computer, just like that. And there you go. You now have a formatted book. If there are any issues with it, if it doesn't look exactly as you want, just go back into the software. You might have to make a few tweaks. This, for example, I probably could have moved this up to the top of the page, um, just things like that. So once you download it, yeah, just go through it, see if everything's looking good, and then you can upload it directly to KDP or IngressSpark or any other publishing platform that you're using. So that is it for the Atticus software review. This is a uh, fantastic software. I think it's going to make um, huge waves in the future for formatting. It's already there. Uh, and Dave and his team, uh, they continue to make a constant uh, and consistent um, updates to the, to the program almost weekly. So check in for that. Um, get the software if you don't have it yet. And um, enjoy formatting your books.